Digital notebooks are one of the most popular digital products that are out there. In fact, they are making tons and tons of money either on Etsy or even on Amazon. But the question remains, how do you create a notebook, a digital notebook that is go going to blow up the market? So the answer is easy. You just watch this video. So in this video, we'll be creating a digital notebook completely from scratch and we'll be using Canva free account. That is to say that everything we'll be doing in this video will be using free resources, free images, free whatever we'll be using. If you are ready, let's tap into that side hustle. Once we are in Canva, we'll come onto this home page uh, on the left side of your screen and we'll click a uh, custom size. But we can also do this by heading over to the left side of your screen and create this and hit this button saying create. But I'll be using this create custom size. And first thing I'm going to do is to change my measurements from pixels to inches. <laughs> Personally, I like to have my measurements in inches, but if you if you prefer pixels, you can keep around and uh, put in your and put in the equivalent of the these inches we are going to use. So I'm going to select inches and a two o, and we'll be creating a notebook with uh, eight inches by width and um, eleven inches by height. And we will click create new design. So once again, as I said earlier in this video, everything will be using will be for free. So that's why I'm using a free account. So if you have a pro account, you can follow around and you and you're free to use all those pro features. But for the purpose of this video, I'll be only using free free resources. So the first thing uh, I'm going to do is to rename my project and I'm going to call it digital notebook. Sorry. The next thing we are going to do is to create uh, the cover of our notebook. So how do we do that? You guessed it. <laughs> By heading over to the elements section on the left side of your screen here and click elements and we are going to search for background, background patterns. Oh, I like this one, but it is a pro. It is a pro future, meaning that I need to have a, a Canva pro account to to be able to use this. Uh, how do you know that it's pro? It has this crown thing on on it, which say, and when you hover it over, it tells you that it's pro. So that is how you know that a future in Canva, a future in Canva, is is a pro future. So it looks like I'm not getting. I'm not getting what I want, but I do, I do have uh, one of the background patterns that I saved earlier when I was when I was prepping for this video. So I'm going to click on start, and I like this one. And the first thing we are going to do is to adjust it to this to to our canvas. So I'm going to adjust it to the top, and I'm going to use this arrow, and and adjust it so that it fills up uh, the whole, our whole canvas. Okay, like this. And I'm going to select it, the whole of it, and I'm going to lock it just to avoid unnecessary movements so on we'll be adding, um, when we'll be adding other, when we'll be adding other elements. So, okay, now that we've, done this i'm going to select the whole canvas and again i'm going to place letter r on my keyboard to bring up a rectangle shape yes this one and i'm going to adjust it to the screen i want to center it uh, if you're having struggle with centering it manually, what I'm going to do is you come here to see more and select position and make sure that you have selected this center button. But for me, it's centered. So uh, the next thing, I'm going to change the color of this box uh, according to the, I'm going to go with the photo colors here on the photo colors. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer adjust its size okay and i'm going to um reduce its transparency by coming here and i'm going to 
make it a little bit like this and okay centered and I'm going to so the next thing I'm going to do is to select the whole canvas and uh, press letter T on my, my keyboard to bring up, up a text box. The first thing I'm going to do is to select this font and enlarge, enlarge it, then select it and type not book. So now it looks a little bit okay, but I'm not settling for okay. So uh, this one is actually optional. If you don't want to do it, it's okay. So I'm going to select it and select effect and select effect. And I'm going to scroll over and come here to background. And ta-da, doesn't it look good? And I'm going to adjust it. Okay, perfect. So the next thing I'm going to select this little box and I'm going to place letter L on the screen to bring up a line. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to first adjust the line, weight, the line weight and I'm going to make it and uh, enlarge it. By making and on my PC, I'm going to uh, to click Control Control D if you're using Windows or if you're using a Mac, it's Command D, which is a shortcut for duplicate. I'm going to adjust it here. Okay, and I just move it and move this a little bit up. Wow, doesn't it look good? And so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to, we've just created the cover of our notebook, which was super easy, super doable, even for beginners. And the next thing we are going to do is to create the interior design of our notebook. So are you ready? Let's click add page. We are here. So what the first thing I'm going to do is to press letter L on my screen again to bring up a line. And this time I'm going to reduce its line weight to one. Okay. And maybe change the color from black to gray. No, oh, it's not visible. Um, I'm going to, to keep the color black. It's, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take this line and enlarge it. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit on the top of the canvas. And I'm going to select it and do, and again, place Control D if you're using Windows or, or Command D if you're using Mac. So I'm going to adjust it, make sure you leave some space here. Okay. Then I'm going to do it again, Control D and adjust it, and then Control D, Control D. It really looks boring. Like, I feel like we can do more. So um, we will start by the adjusting the length of this. Okay, actually I'm going to delete this line and we'll start by adjusting the length of these first two lines. Okay, now want to move it over again like this and we're going to do the same for this second line. Okay. 
And after this, I'm going to select the whole canvas and place T on my keyboard to bring up a text box. And for this time, I'm changing the font from this 210 black box to poppins pop because it's my second favorite. My second, it's actually my second favorite uh, font, and I'm going to, to to rename this to Memono. And I'm going to bold it to make it bold and increase its size a little bit. And I'm going to select this duplicate. And name this dead. So you see, we are moving. We've just created the interior. I've added the memo, the memo, no, and even the date. So, but it still looks brand to me. Like we could do more. So, how can we do that? By heading here to elements. We could. So, heading here to elements and just type butterflies because I love them. <laughs> I'm guilty of loving butterflies. And we're going to select, let's see. Okay, I like this one, but I don't like the color. So what I'm going to do is to click on these three dots and select see more like this. Okay. Mm, I like this one and I'm going to select it. It's actually free. And you can adjust its colors from the top here. But me, I am happy with the colors. Or I think it's ready to go. But personally, I don't love a white paper ground. So even my books, they have creamy paper background. So I think I might need to change it a little bit. And it's totally okay if you don't do it. This is a personal preference. And I'm doing it by selecting the whole canvas and heading over to elements. Sorry. And I'm going to type transparent background. No, sorry, transparent gradient. And let's see. Let's see this one. Now it's not that effective. It's not adding much on the... So let's add cream. Transparent gradient. Okay, I think I'm going with this one. And I'm going to adjust it to fit up the screen, the to fit up the bug, the canvas. And I'm going to reduce its transparency somewhere around. 50. Okay, ta-da! Now we've created the interior, the first page of the interior of our notebook, and I think it looks great. And after creating this, we are coming here to the grid view on the bottom of your screen, grid view. So that will be viewing them in grid, and we are going to select this page, make sure that it's selected. And again, on your keyboard, place Control D if you're using a window if you're using windows or control or command d if you're using a macbook so i'm going to be pressing control d control d until i reach like 50 pages and 
let's see how many pages are we so far so canva is still loading i bring this to my internet but don't worry it's uh i should have loaded up so select this and press ctrl d or command d see have we reached the target yeah i don't mind 73 so once we're done with all pages, what we're going to do is that we are going to deselect or close grid view and come back to pages. So if we come here on pages, if we go back to view them in on terms of pages, uh, we will see that we've created uh, a ready to sell digital notebook from scratch and we've done it in less than even 20 minutes. <laughs> And this is how easy it is, because if I can do it, you can do it too. So um, this is how you create a digital notebook using Canva from scratch. And the good thing is that, let's say you've created this one and you want to create another one, but different colors, different everything, and you don't want to start from scratch. So what do you do is that you come here, fire, and make copy so so you've made another copy of yourself so next time you want let's say you want to change the background of this uh, cover you don't have to, to you don't have to start from scratch because it's already done and all you have to do is to move things around and change some things around and that is it. so hustlers this is how you make a digital notebook ready to sell on amazon this was very very beginner friendly and if you have any questions or you have you're you're facing some issues let me know in the comments so if you're interested in making more of digital products using canva i highly recommend to subscribe on the hustle diet and if you found value in this video make sure to like it hit that notification hit that notification bell link subscribe to our channel so that you never and ever miss a video from the from us because we are all about making money but if you're interested in making prompted digital digital notebooks make sure to watch this video on your screen it will guide you into how to take on to take it on on a professional level